Hey guys, Brian here with another Clash of Clans video. Today I am going to give you guys a little update about what I've been up to and let you know why I haven't been on. Um, school's coming to an end and I've been really, really, really busy with it, so that's why I haven't been on. I've been doing a lot of favors and stuff like that. So I haven't really gotten a lot done. I did drop my trophies down to about 1,200 to um, start farming. I, and I did some updates around my base. I got my uh, archer tower to level 8. I got a cannon to level 9 up here. My dark elixir storage got upgraded. And then I think that's pretty... Oh, and then this cannon upgraded to level 9 too. So yeah, I'm focusing on my defenses right now. Oh, and I've upgraded a bunch of these walls. Really, really expensive. I figured I have 200, I think it's there's 250 walls. Let me see. Yeah, 250 walls, and you have to upgrade all of them with 200,000 200, um, gold each. That's like 50 million coins. That's freaking ridiculous. I don't even think I've stolen that much. Yeah, I haven't even taken that much gold in my entire game, or my entire Clash of Clans career, so... That's going to take a while. And then I'm sure coming after that, these 500,000 ones are going to take even longer. So I'll probably end up gemming that. Um, I have a few new ferns around my base. I'm trying to go for that natural defense look. I want to grow all these trees around the edges. This one's borderline. I almost removed it, but it, it'll do, do good. I want it to be like um, this level up here. Let me show you guys. Where is it? This one. I want it to look like this one around the edges. I think that'd be cool. One thing I think would be really cool is do you see like they have the themes in the background like this? I wish you could change the themes of your base. That'd be I think that'd be a cool update for them to have. Like back here. I mean the water down here looks good. I wish that 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 can stay. I like that. Or maybe they could change it more into like a beach look and a tropical look. Instead of the same boring look every time I come on. But that's just a suggestion. Anyway, um, I got some dragons ready. And let's do it in attack while you guys are here. I am trying to get my trophies back up. I'm looking for a base with over 200,000 gold. The dynamics have changed a lot since golems have been out, by the way, it's crazy. Like, um, Jorge Yao, he, he has so many trophies now, I think he's up to like 4,185. And Vizia, number two, only has 4,014, but he hasn't been on in a while. Number three is like 3,800. So Jorge Yao is just having a good time up there, destroying everybody. But yeah, a lot of the high-level players have been dropping down. Because of the new golems, it changes the way you attack. A lot of people use golems and pekkas and wall breakers and then the wizards. That's my next goal. I'm going to get my wizards to level 5 so I can start doing that strategy. I don't know if I got showed you at the beginning, but I showed you. I just upgraded my dark elixir storage, which I'm going to keep trying to raise so I can start upgrading my golems. And I'm excited to see what new troops they bring into uh, the Dark Elixir training camps, or the Dark Elixir barracks. Because if you look at it, they have four slots saying coming soon, so that'll be cool when those come. Man, I can't find a base. At 1,200 trophies, you'd find one pretty fast. 70,000, no. Look at this, 40,000, 20,000, 30,000, stupid. Oh my goodness, give me a base.
9,000, this is stupid. This is why I dropped down to 1,200, because you do find bases with over 100,000 all the time. I might as well just go back down there. In fact, I think I'm going to after this video. I'm going to drop back down and I'll, I'll bring you guys more videos of me raiding those ones with like 300,000. The other day I found one with like 380,000 gold and 380,000 elixir. I was like, yeah. And I know that's not a record. I've seen videos of people like constantly fighting over who has the record. There's like 1.2 million resource raids, 1.4 million resource raids. It's ridiculous. I think those videos are pretty cool though because I'm like, w why can't I find a base like that? And when they do find those bases, they, they're all newbie. I'm sure there's a couple like that out there. I just can't find them. Okay, I'm going to attack this one. He has, he has a lot of gold. So, where's his biggest air defense? He only has two air defenses? It's a joke. Okay. Sh shoot. I thought that would... Get it. I just put that rage spell down so it could destroy those clan, clan, the clan castle troops. Those air mines do nothing to dragons. It's hilarious. The dark ones, though, they, they absolutely wreck them. Sorry if it's too loud, guys. I'll turn it down. Hey, and yeah, if you guys have any content suggestions of what kind of videos I should make, please suggest it. I, I really want to know what you guys want to see. Because without the new upgrades, there's nothing really to show. I mean, I could show uh, base reviews and stuff like that. If you guys really want to see those, I can do that. Um, like, what I think is the best setup. Just my opinion or what you guys can try. I don't know. Just let me know in the comments below what you guys think you want to see or what you think I should do. Well, that was easy. I don't think I needed to use ten dragons. I think he killed one of them. There you go, guys. 184,000 gold, 52,000 elixir. I lost like 300,000 elixir, but I gained a bunch of gold. Probably only about 150,000 after searching for that much. So there's there's a wall upgrade or two, which gets me closer to my goal of having all level 7 walls. So let's upgrade these ones in the middle. If it, my game didn't freeze. Jeez. There we go. And yeah, you guys, I started... um. In my clan, I kicked out people who had under 1,200, and I was going to do it to where I just kept moving people up, and or kept raising the trophies and cut you guys, but I think I'm just going to keep it like this, because I really don't like kicking you guys out. You guys are my subscribers, and you guys are my viewers, so I'm going to probably open it up back up and let anyone who wants to join, join, and if I want to get serious later on, then I'll talk about doing that. But right now, I just want to enjoy playing this game with you guys and just have fun and have a good place to talk to and donate troops whenever you need it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I've been up to lately on Clash of Clans. Let me know what you guys think about in the comments below. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and take it easy.